This is an art attack. This is an art attack. This is art attack. <laughs> Hello there, welcome once again to Art Attack, the big art show that uses lots of vampires' blood. <laughs> Great way to make some spooky writing. What you need is some of this ready mix poster paint in these squidgy bottles. Now I find the best colours to use are red, black and green for maximum spooky effect. Then you need some card or very strong paper. Again, any colour that you like, but I prefer black. And then you take your bottle and you literally squidge the paint out and write whatever message you want. I'm just going to really press hard here, squidge it out. And it doesn't have to be neat because it all adds to the horror effect. It is right down there. The skill is to keep it going. Like that. And before it has time to dry, I'll just finish it off there. I'll just turn it around so you can see it. Before it had time to dry, you literally tip it up and watch as it transforms into a menacing message. And when you've had enough dripping, lay it down flat, leave it to dry overnight and then hang it outside your bedroom door and it's guaranteed to keep away unwelcome visitors. <laughs> Boo! It's the head again. It's all right, don't be scared, it's easy. Just pour out paint onto a card, spell out a warning, and then let it rip. It's spooky. <laughs> Have you ever made a collage? Not like this you haven't. Mr. Stephen Taylor Woodrow.
noticed how things look smaller as they get further away. Well, for example, I'm standing quite close to you, and I'm this big, and I'm standing quite close to you as well, and I'm exactly the same size. Ah, yes, but watch what happens when he gets further away. He looks smaller, and smaller, and smaller. I only look smaller because I'm further away. And this is a good tip to remember next time you're painting and drawing. Let me show you. Now here's a scene of a road going off into the distance. And I want to draw some telegraph poles along the side of the road. So remember the tip, things look smaller as they get further away. So I'm going to start with a big telegraph pole in the foreground and a smaller one there. And as they get further away, I'm drawing them smaller and smaller and smaller. Just put a wire on there. Looks quite good, that. Now, on the other side of the road, I want to draw a fence. So, there's a fence post going in. Now, again, remember the tip. Things look smaller as they get further away. So, there goes another fence post in there, just a bit smaller. And then, gradually, getting a bit smaller. And it gets further away into the distance. That's it. Just put the bar on the post. And there it is. OK, well, I've got another scene here. This is a sunset scene. Now, watch this. Now, don't worry, it's not a big black cloud. I'm going to just draw on there in chalk some reflection from the sun. And there, sailing majestically out to sea. A couple of people in a balloon. A bit more chalk on the edge there, just to catch the sun's reflection. Now, about half an hour ago, another balloon the same size set off. And there it is, same size, but it looks smaller. There it is, right in the distance. A couple of people in there. And just put a little bit more reflection from the sun. And there it is. Handy tip that things look smaller as they get further away. Try it yourself. It's the end again. So don't forget. Things are small when they're far away, and as they get closer, they get bigger. Told you. the head again. So the next time your parents tell you to pick up your clothes off your bedroom floor, tell them you can't, because it's a picture. What about a music attack? The Brighton Bottle Orchestra.
Girl, and this is my hand. Hello, my name's Zainab, and this is my hand. We were the first years, and we made this. But this bit broke off. <laughs> Doesn't matter, still a great idea from Benchbury School. Now, what they did was to roll out some modelling clay and they stuck their hands into it. And when they pulled their hand out, they'd created an impression. And into that, they poured some plaster of Paris. Now, you get the instructions for mixing this on the box. There it is, just slap it in. And they left that to dry overnight, and next morning when they peeled back the clay, they were left with a hand model. Well, I've thought of my own way of creating this art attack, the tasty way. What I've done is I've rolled out some fondant icing, and I'm going to stick my hand into it to create an impression. There it is, just press it right in there, as far as it can go. Quite hard work, this. There it is, there's an impression. And into that, I'm going to pour not plaster of Paris, but molten chocolate. Look at this. I've got to be careful with this because it's very hot. I'm just going to pour it in there. Oh, if only you could smell this. But you can't because we haven't got smelly vision yet. But look at that. I'm just going to pour it in there. Right into the thumb. Oh, there it is. And I'll leave that to set overnight in the fridge. And next day, peel back the fondant icing. There it is, push it right back. And there it is. Chocolate fingers. Only this bit broke off. See you next week. Ta-ra! <laughs>